Hello YouTube, this here is the Ugly Prepper. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, it's been raining today in Alabama. Uh, but we're outside here anyway. Got a couple of packages here that I'm wanting to unbox and uh, I'm going to tell you all about uh, what happened to me, what Amazon did to me, which kind of messed me up. It was kind of my fault, but it was kind of theirs too. The uh, first package, this package right here, um, I've ordered a few things with a little bit of my stimulus money. I believe I mentioned uh, one of them in my last video. All right. All right. We got some Catahoula. Tarred bank line. I've been waiting on this to come in. Uh, this is number 36. I believe it's 300 and something pound test. It's very good stuff. You can do all sorts of things with it. It's, you know, prepping. It's always good to have cordage. I think it's got the little thing right here. But anyway, got my bank line, one pound. So that's good. One pound spool of that. Let me see here, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, we got a big, big package here that came in the other day. So I'm going to try to uh, slide y'all around here so you can possibly see what I'm doing. All right. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, the old world is going crazy. Uh, you, you might have noticed in the video that I'm uh, most definitely packing today. A lot going on in the world. I pack every day. I don't always pack uh, where people can see it or notice it. Uh, this little 380 of mine fits in my pocket quite well. Uh, so normally that's where it's at. I thought I would wear it outside the, the waistband today. All right, here. Get the carton here out of the way. What we have here is we have rock pals. I don't know if y'all can see that. Foldable solar panels. Uh, I ordered uh, the rock pals 520 watt uh, solar generator along with this. I thought it was a done deal. I thought Amazon had already took the money out for it. It was my mistake, and I should have kept a closer watch on my account. But anyway, they sent me something yesterday saying, uh, the seller never did confirm your purchase. Something on the seller's end. Maybe he's out of stock. I don't know what. But uh, So we never took the money out of your account. Well, me not watching my account, I went and bought... A couple of big boxes of ammo uh, these are there's these are 200 round boxes I bought two of them these are 380 ACP they're steel case cartridges which I don't really care for but I was low enough I bought them anyway it's better to have some steel case cartridges to throw down range if I need to and these are supposed to have some sort of polymer coating on them anyway so uh, we got to, we purchased 400 rounds of 380 and I was low and by low I mean I had like 120 something rounds left 120 rounds is low for me y'all I like to have more anyway let's open this puppy up here so I guess I'll have to wait until the seller gets more stock on the rock pals generator I'll have to repurchase that and since I already thought I had it paid for yeah, I'll have to save up the money again to make that purchase again. And maybe they won't do me the same way over again. But, uh, right, come on. You got to open here. Uh, box is being stubborn. We'll just do it the old, uh, the old fashioned way here. These little tabs don't want to come out of the box. 
So I just ripped them with my cold steel. That's what else we got going on here. Right, this has to come out. Pray for somebody today. Uh, you know, there's so much going on in that world. So many people need prayer. Pray for someone today. Prep something today. God, boy. I mean, look at what's going on in, in our world, in your in your bigger cities. Just take a look around at what's going on. People got to start waking up. The mainstream media is doing their usual, you know, painting of the picture. What did I draw? It's just a piece of cardboard. It ain't worried about it. Uh, just get packs and throw that in the ammo can or something. All right, we got our, uh, looks like our little instruction booklet here. All right. This is the 100 watt. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can. This is the 100 watt solar panel. This is, uh, I believe these are monocrystalline panels. They're kind of heavy. Got a good case. Good Velcro. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get back where y'all can see. Let these fold out. And again, fold out. So, uh, when I get my Rock Pal generator. I'll be set up and ready to go. I wonder if this thing has a UP, uh, USB port right on it. Got a little, uh, looks like a little accessory pouch right here on the back. That's kind of cool to keep your cables and stuff in. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's attached to the panel. Let's pull that off. Here's our cables. And then here is the big cable, the one that's actually attached to the panel itself. So yeah, anyway, I'll have to reorder the generator since Amazon kind of screwed me on that deal. Or messed me up. They didn't screw me, they messed me up. But uh Listen, I've been at the river for the last three days. I haven't really been online a whole lot. We don't have internet at the river. Uh, we've been over at my buddy's river lot, catching some uh, striped, catching some catfish, getting our fishing skills on, you know. Let's see. Kind of hoping there might be a USB thing on here, like if I needed to charge something with just the panel. Anyhow, there she is. She all folds up real nice. I'm proud to have it. This was 225 bucks, I believe, just for the panel without the uh, generator. That's why this is st uh, stimulus money, because I don't normally have that much money floating around. And usually when I have extra money, I spend it all on preps. So, <laughs> but uh, anyhow, wanted to share this with you today. Um, so, we got some more stuff coming. Uh, it's just going to be a while before it gets here, apparently. Apparently, there's a run on a lot of camping and prepping items. I've got, let's see, what else have I got ordered? I've got a Coleman... It's an adapter for a 20 pound tank instead of how, because I've been looking for months for the little one pound Coleman to go with my Coleman stove. You can't find them anywhere here in Alabama. Nobody's got them. Uh, so I went to get the adapter on Amazon. I went ahead and bought the little uh, high pressure hose kit that goes onto a 20 pound propane tank. And I ordered it. They confirmed the order and everything. Well, now they've backed it up. They've delayed it a couple of weeks. So, 
trying to get what I need, but it's aggravating at the same time. I know a lot of people are trying to get what they need before this whole place goes to hell in a handbasket, so to speak. But, uh, all right. We're going to get this thing out here and give it a good once over and read up about it. But, uh, I just wanted to check in today. Spent a few, uh, spent a few days on the river. We've had a good time. Uh, hanging out with my Christian brother, Michael. Uh, we caught uh, a lot of flathead catfish, uh, or, yeah, blue cats and flannel, uh, flannel, good Lord, help me, Jesus. Blue cats and flathead cats last night. Uh, we stayed up till one this morning fishing. And uh, so anyhow, we thought we'd check in, open these few little items. I did get some more ammo. My last little rant, I was kind of pissed about not being able to get ammo. So, uh, we had to go back to uh, Academy. Uh, my buddy Michael had to get a new dip net, uh, the big one for big catfish and stuff. Uh, so, uh, I just happened to go over there and look, and they had two big boxes of 380. So, I bought two big boxes. I bought my allotment for the day, I guess. Still, and gets on my nerves or whatever hope y'all all have a blessed day i hope you're all continually thinking about preps uh stocking what you can going to the store getting what you can while you can that's important uh, anyway y'all stay alert keep your situational awareness up especially if i if i lived in a big city i'd be i'd be locked down and cocked and locked and ready to rock if I lived in a big city. I've cocked and locked and ready to rock right now anyway, but uh, I live out here in the country, in God's country, Alabama. But uh, just want to talk that over with you, show you these few things. I didn't bring both boxes of this stuff out here, but I did buy two boxes. Uh, and this is an empty box. I've already got my ammo stored away in an ammo can. So these are just... Uh, Well, I kind of keep these things here. I use them to put uh, batteries in. I've got a battery daddy, but if I have overflow, you can put, uh, I believe it's AAA batteries fit in these little 50 count container things. Anyway, hey, when you when you have that prepper mindset, you find, uh, you find different uses for things. And if you can save it and have a purpose for it. I'm not talking about hoarding, you know, like you're just saving pizza boxes and garbage and that kind of stuff. If you can find a purpose for it, uh, I don't get rid of it. See y'all, uh, have a blessed day. Uh, this is the Ugly Prepper. Uh, stay safe, y'all. A uh, couple of channels I wanted to shout out to. Uh, Pinball Preparedness. God bless you, brother. I watch your channel just about every day. Native Voice. Love uh, your rants. Your, your spot on... Uh, native uh love your rants we the people prepping y'all go check him out um and you know uh give us a thumbs up like the video or or whatever you think on that and uh share my channel you know i've got 250 subscribers uh you know if you got prepper friends or a mag or whatever you know uh share my videos uh that would help uh, me a lot, and I would be tremendously thankful for that. Uh, but I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone is as ready as they can be. So uh, another uh, survival living. Uh, love that channel. Watch him just about every day. Um, of course, anger prepper. I watch all his stuff. But uh, y'all, you know. Uh, is it Princess Prepper or Prepper? The Prepper Princess, I think. I watch a lot of her stuff. She helps you save money as well as preps. So I like that. Um, anyhow, I've got all discombobulated here. I get to rambling. That's the way it is. But y'all, uh, y'all have a blessed day and uh, be God's will in somebody's life today if you can. If you have that ability, do it. 
uh, and don't do it for personal gains. Don't do it because you think it's going to let you go to heaven. You can't work your way to heaven. That's in the Bible. Go read it. Uh, start with Romans. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you can help somebody today, help them. Be a help to somebody. Make you feel good in here, in your heart. This is the Ugly Pepper. We'll check y'all later. Stay safe. Mm-hmm.